Same exact one as that one. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Predator Arena for continuing play now in the BCA Pool League National 8-Ball Championships. It's Ken Schumann along with Bobby Cotton LeBlanc here to carry you through the first part of today. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Bobby. And what we have for you right now is men's open 8-Ball singles between Tyler Fleischman and Ryan Robinson. This is Ryan breaking. They're playing a race to five, one race. Ryan is from, uh, originally from Texarkana, Texas. He now resides in, I wrote it down here, Springdale, Arkansas. Hey, he's- You know, you know where that is, don't you? Or yeah, he's the other one. There was another guy here from Springdale. Is that the same one? I don't know. What's his name? Ryan Robinson. I think it was on the, the left. Yeah, the I think it was the same one. It could be. Yeah, he was on the table. Uh huh. And his opponent is uh, Tyler Fleischman, and he's from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Well, what do you think he's going to do here? I'd go rail first and make that. Nine ball? I think so. Well. But I don't know. 
you know, I might shoot the 14 into it or the whatever the ball yeah, is near yeah. the 8. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that ball goes in the side, but it's a, it's a little tight. I might He's even shooting shoot. it in the side. Yeah. So now he's got to play the 11. Well, if this is the way the balls are going to break, the pros are going to have a, yeah, but a field day here if they're breaking like but this. But, you know, because the pros tend to break a little harder, the, things are moving around a lot more. You're going to get a lot of collisions, and things might wind up, you know, sticking to each other. I, yeah. I, I think it's going to be either road maps or clusters. You know? Well, that's a good decision. That's a good, good point. Yeah. I was thinking about our commentating yesterday, you know. the fun. Here's what's fun for me. Say where they have a shot and they're going to try to play position on another ball and it's tough. And when you figure out what they're going to do and you say it, it's fun when you're right, but it's more fun when you're wrong. Because you're learning that they might see something that we don't. Exactly. You know, so we're thinking, oh, they're going to go two rails and they do something completely right. opposite. Like, dude, yeah, I just learned something. Very much so. That's a that's an excellent point. It's yeah. fun when you're right, and it's more fun when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. On your guess, you know. Right. And to be honest with you, I'm a little uh, not surprised, but maybe uh, kind of pleased uh, that we're we're right more than we're wrong. Oh yeah. But a lot of times when when we don't call it right, either like you said, we didn't see the shot or. Our angle to the table is distorting what we see versus what the player sees, even on our monitor, uh, which is great, crystal clear HD monitor. It's, it's you know. But a lot of times you got to be right behind the cue ball. Yeah. It's straight in. That's right. The width of a paper match can make the difference between going forward or three rails, exactly. you know. Exactly. Yeah. Inside or outside or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just that much. <clears throat> I think I'd shoot I'd, the 10 it, here. Yeah, I would too. And shoot, then shoot the 12 because the 9 you can go rail first it, just about anywhere you get. Yep. Well, that's not bad, but he's right back. <laughs> We're in the same spot where he is. I, I wonder, could he go forward three rails? I wouldn't hit it hard. Uh-huh. The only thing you got to worry about is don't get behind the 8. Mm-hmm. But I'd hit it hard to go down there into the rail maybe. Yeah, you know, I'm really one, it depends it. on how heavy he he is on the four, you know, once he makes contact with the 12. He could go forward with left and just bounce out, but I, I like inside if I, he's thin if he's thin on the four. And yeah, because that's going to spin right off the uh -huh. four nicely, just like this. See what he does. No, I'll see, I, I wouldn't have done that. No. I'm you, going three rails. Like yeah, now look at this. He can probably shoot through the gap. But how's he going to get the cue ball out? He'd have to draw the crap out of it, and he's only hitting half the nine ball. Yeah, he got Hitting that ball, that last one, as hard as he did was uh, not n not what he wanted to do, or mm -mm. that's what put him in this Look position. Look at this. I don't think he can get behind this ball. Maybe he can get in there rail first. It's going to be. No, he can't. No, he's shooting straight up at it. Ooh, oh, he's, he's, for, he's fortunate he can see the eight. I wouldn't want to be shooting this one for my first game this long. Because once see, again, this is a long shot. It didn't, you know. Yeah. I really didn't like leaving the nine for the last ball. Not when the eight was that far away. Yeah. Jesus, he's shooting good. Grief. That's really good. Well done. He shot that ball better than uh, Justin Hall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Ryan, scoreboard. That's okay. Don't worry, buddy. Nice out. He shot that. He didn't look like he, look like he knew what he was doing. <laughs> well, it's really nice that we'll be able to bring you a couple of days of play here in both the BCA Pool League and possibly some of the USA Pool League stuff. Uh, I think it's really nice that the 
people that wait all year to come to this event. You know, some are going to get a, an opportunity to play on the stream and a little different setting. And, of course, as we wind down today and tomorrow in the uh, amateur divisions, certainly we should see some better play and some more exciting play. I want to watch some chicks play. <laughs> I, just I warned that, you about I, that I just, yesterday. You that. are now on two. <laughs> I'm on you're on you're on two I'm chick just, fouls. I'm just about ready to three foul out. <laughs> I just said that for Ken. I know I want to see the ladies play. Oh, boy. Hey, old habits are hard to break. I, I understand. But we do live in a politically correct world, even if you and I don't know what that means. I know. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good spread here. So it's open no matter what you yeah, mean, it's, right? Yeah, it's 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 always open yeah. after the break. And, and uh, until you pocket a ball legally. Right, right. The groups aren't established until a ball is legally pocketed after the break. Because the table's open, all the balls are legal object balls except the eight. You See, know, you can do you can do look solid. What he's doing. I would shoot the, you gotta yeah, shoot why the would stripes. you why would you shoot solids with the seven where it is? You gotta shoot stripes. Yeah, you better go into the seven right here. So what do we know? Listen, these are professional amateurs, Bobby. We're just no, we're just professionals. That was an. No, he's got to shoot. He's doing just fine. Get straight in on the six and draw back for the four. I mean, what? <laughs> like you said, you're going to learn some things here from these guys. I got he ain't taking he ain't wasting no time. No, but again now 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 is where he needs the care with the cue ball. He can oh, he's got, got a clean hit. I think he can split the two stripes and come out. Just like that. Yeah, yeah and now he's got a big pocket down there. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. That, that that's as good as two top professionals in the last two outs. Nice work. My God, this ain't going to take long. No, you were right the first time. Just flip two of them. Yeah. Nice out. <laughs> nice out, wasn't it? it was damn nice out. And both guys with good breaks. Yeah. I mean, he ran them balls in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm just like my phone. Day, I'm fully charged. How late was your last night? Pretty late. You got on. You no, that well the final. After the trophy thing, you was gone. Uh, the final ended maybe twenty to ten. It was just a little over an hour and a half match. Yeah. Um, and uh, Jay did the interviews, and I stayed around uh, to watch a couple of pictures. And about ten to ten, I was on my way upstairs. Yeah, it's about the same time I left. Right uh -huh. the match was pretty did you, over. Did you get some sleep? Not really. I no. sleep like six hours. Yeah. Yeah, my knees were barking at me last night. Balls are breaking nice, another too. Another nice break here. I believe he's got to take the stripes at yeah. 9, 12, 14 goes. Well, you know. I, you know, if it wasn't for the seven ball, I'd shoot the two. Actually, you could shoot the two maybe and slide right down and shoot the seven. Shoot the one, play the four in the side. That six up there has a big pocket to go in. And then the three eight. But I see, you know, I saw the stripes first too, but yeah. the only reason, well, I suppose it's okay. But 
think you and I need to bear in mind that these players play year-round bar table, you know, seven-foot table, eight ball. They've probably got their own preferences of mm -hmm. what they think they can do and what they know they can do. He might shoot that four, that 14 down there and nudge those and come up and nudge them balls, you think? If he comes up and nudges those balls and hits the right side of the 12, everything just opens up nice, you know? Yeah. If it was me, I'd shoot just because the way they're laying. I'd shoot the ball in the side, the 11, or the, whatever that is. And I'd go down there and I'd get the hanger out of the way. I'd rather play the 9-12 combination without that ball there. Mm -hmm. Because I, then i got to control the 12 and the 9. Better stop. Okay. He can shoot now. He should shoot the 13 on the 14 and then move them ball. I'm not sure I'd move them. I mean, you just don't want to if you don't have to. If he does that, it's, you know, nothing wrong with it. But he could wind up with another ball in front of the pocket that might make him have to get position one more time. He's moving them. I like that. Well, but he made it <laughs> he made it worse. Well see now he's got to play position again to get on that combination. It's no harder to make than it was before, but what's gonna happen is the nine's gonna go to the right a little when he plays the combination and it could hide under the six. I'd play the nine twelve thirteen now because this then there's really Well, now, Bobby, I play the 13, and then I play the 12-9 down here, because it's more, it's it more, is. it's just Straight as dead, is just as dead down here, is more so than it is up the other place. Plus, I think you can control the 12 ball better, mm -hmm. and you'd be right there for the eight. Oh, look at this. He well, if he can get in there, that's okay. He's got to go real first. Be careful. All right, that's fine. That's all right. Yeah. Come right in between Slide the balls. Slide up right between. What time is the next match here? You know, I don't know because this is on the uh, BCA Pool League side of things, and I don't know that their brackets are timed, and if they are, I don't know what the intervals are. Boy, he hit that ball nice. Look at that shot. Nice speed, nice everything. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> nice shot there. Draw back a little bit, pop out. You went that way. Well, so far, they played perfect. Nobody's missed. Got to watch cross side here. That's all. A little bit of outside English. Good shot. That's uh, three, three, run, three breaking runs. We're off to a good start. So real briefly, I'm sure most of you know, but we'll do a quick eight ball rules rundown for you. The table's always open after the break, which means you can shoot a solid into a stripe or a stripe into a solid till the groups are established. If you make a ball in the break, you don't have to take that group. The eight ball is never neutral. You can't hit it first unless it's your only remaining ball on the table. If you make the eight on the break, you do not win the game. You have two choices. You can spot the eight ball and keep shooting from position, or you can rack them up and break over. What but, but what is allowed is for you to spot the eight ball before you make your decision. So you can see the lay of the balls with the eight spotted and then decide, do you want to shoot or do you want to break again? What happens if you make a stripe and solid on the break, and then on your opening shot you shoot a stripe into a solid and they both fall? It depends on which ball you called. What if you you can only call one ball. So you strike, shoot a stripe in the solid. You call. If you called the solid and they both go in, you've got solids. Okay. It's strictly based on the ball that you I intend to make. I was just trying to trip you up. I was just testing, trying to get you. Keep keep. I li listen. I I like when you give me those little challenges because 
I always have the right answer. You do, man. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of annoying, actually. Always. Well, you'll, the right, le- you'll learn eventually. You always have the right answer. I'll, I'll make a rules expert out of you before we're That's done. That's why I look up to you at this. So anyway, uh, like I said. Uh, look at these balls. Man, these balls are breaking yeah. really good. I mean, look at this. I like solids. Yeah. Because of the 11. I mean, look at these balls. I mean, yeah, wow. the, o- the only ball that's going to require a little bit of delicacy the, the is, six. is the six, yeah. and that really uh, won't present to too much problem because you've got the two to help you out right after that. Mm-hmm. I'd but try to get rid of that six pretty quick. Well, he's down there. I mean, take the one, take the five, and go from the five to the six, mm-hmm. or even the five to the four, then the six. I think the two should be the last ball. Yeah. Uh, any foul in this game is ball in hand. Even a scratch on the break, Bobby, it's not ball in hand behind the head string. It's ball in hand anywhere. Uh-oh. Yeah, now he's going to have to shoot the four. I'd shoot the four then try to get on the six. Yeah, I don't Go know. Go across the I don't table. Yeah, he need to power up on it to do that. If he could get to the six off the two, he could do it now. He could shoot the two, but... I think he's got to blast that to get across the table. No, not just. This this is a good shot here. Just like this. Yeah, that's really oh. good. Good speed. Yeah, you hit it, hit it about as good as you could. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Oh, hit the point. Into yeah, the point. Hit the point. First, first ball missed so far in the match by both guys. That was Tyler, correct? Yes. This is Ryan at the table. And, of course, uh, once the other guy missed with six six of his balls or five of his balls gone, everything's pretty well in the clear here for Ryan. As long as he can keep control of the cue ball, he should get out. Where are you going? Where are you going? I didn't like going forward on that ball. I'd just draw it back to it and like shot yeah. the 10 next. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that ball. That looked like that <laughs> That ball looked like a solid because it was mm-hmm. all the white portion. I apologize, Ryan. You did play you did play it good. One rail at the 11. They can go to the end rail and bounce out. Yep. Shade of right English. No, look ooh, at this. Ooh, ooh. He should have went forward. Well, even a stop shot. Anything but that. I mean, that was really. Yeah. You know, it almost. That, uh, almost that drawing your ball is not the way to go on it. No. If you got ten times more accuracy following the ball, not even close. I think a little spin, he can make it. I think he can. Yeah, he still made it. <clears throat> anyway, as we mentioned, uh, any foul is ball in hand anywhere, including a scratch on the break. A foul, and even if you touch object ball? No, no, no. Uh, we're playing cue ball fouls okay, only. Okay, okay. That's why I but I mean, any any standard foul is a ball in hand foul. And uh, there they go. We got a quick timeout here by Tyler. So while they're on a timeout, I'll just uh, finish up the rules here. I said the eight ball's never neutral. You can't hit it first unless it's your only object ball on the table. You can use it as the middle ball of a combination as long as you hit one of your balls first. And you can, um, there's uh, four ways to lose the game playing the eight ball. That would be if the eight ball was made prematurely before your group is cleared. That's loss of game. If the eight ball is made in other than the intended pocket, that's loss of game. If the eight ball is jumped off the table on any shot other than the break shot, that's a loss of game. And if you make the eight on the same shot as you make your last object ball, that too is loss of game. If you're kicking at the eight, and you don't hit it, 
you don't lose the game. It's just the foul as long as the eight ball does not go in. So an easy way to remember all of that stuff is this. If the eight ball is still on the table, the game isn't over. We used to play when I was a kid. We put the eight ball up on a piece of chalk on top of the chalk and call it Chicago eight ball. If you shoot it to last, you can take it off the chalk. But if you knock it down any time during the game, you lose. Oh, if you knock it off the chalk? Yeah. You never heard of that before? No. That's a southern it's thing. It's kind of like. It's a southern <laughs> thing. Yeah. I can see that as an excellent way to practice for cue ball it was control, fun. but I'm not sure I'd want to play too many matches oh, like yeah. that. It was actually quite a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Ryan Robinson is racking him up for rack number five. He leads three to one in a race to five. We've got the camera on the other table. And I, <coughs> I'm sorry to say I do not know the names of those players, but I do know the fellow sitting in the chair is leading two to nothing. Well, we certainly want to extend on behalf of all of us and CSI our heartfelt congratulations to Torsten Holman for becoming the U.S. Open 10 ball champion last night with a dominating performance over Justin Hall. Um, the pool gods were certainly on Torsten's side, but he played very, very well, deserved the title. And I know uh, he takes a lot of pride in, in this accomplishment because I don't, I don't know that he's ever played in a tournament on seven foot tables before this. And that's just a, another testament to his greatness. So congratulations, Toasty. And uh, he'll be going for the sweep here starting day after tomorrow when we kick off our U.S. Open 8-ball championships on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Why well, they call him Toasty? I asked him about that, and he said when he was in school, you know, young kid, six, seven, eight years old, a couple of people, you know, were needling him about his first name. It was hard to pronounce, I guess, for them. And a couple of guys just started to call him uh, Toastin, and that, I guess, evolved to Toasty. <clears throat> hmm. But he's had that for since he was like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, here's how I'm talking about. Look at these balls. Right. I don't like, this e I don't it, like either group. And this was makes it real difficult because you don't know if you start. if You, you can't. Because once you start trying to run the balls, you got to mm -hmm. make sure you get out. And if you don't get out, you lose. So I'll tell he's, you got, what, he's I, got three I, troubled balls. Here. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I'm, what I might do here. I might take the solids. Shoot the six or the two, and then safe my guy under the six, the seven, and the three, and try to get a ball in hand. Exactly. I don't like that. I like what you did. Just float in behind that ball. Yeah. Free, Establish your group. Take you and get rail. get a ball in hand where you could maybe mm -hmm. play a ball to open up what what's clustered for you. Mm -hmm. Now this game's going to take. But you while. know what I would do right here? No, I would. You he could do the same thing. I would, I would shoot the two and draw right into the five and all that and hit it hard. Okay, but you what's your what's your these balls what's around. your insurance ball? You just you got, got you just got to, well you just got to hope for one. Yeah, you just got to hope for one. But the thing of it is, you know the other balls are kind of goofy, but the fourteen does go behind the, the right, six. Right, it goes real first off the six. Now a lot of times, playing eight ball, you can't just like nudge the ball. It's easy. You got to go ahead and go into them. Yeah, em. yeah. You know, people think, ah, oh, you can't hit them too hard. No, you got to hit them hard. You got to get them out in space, right? You got to right. get. You got to scatter those balls. Does this one go? Yeah. Okay. I mean, this this is. Yeah. Oh, if that holds for the five, he's in good shape because that five's a little bit tricky to get on. Mm -hmm. Can't but make it. Yeah, but now it would be a great key ball. I'd shoot the combo down the rail if it'll pass. I don't think it, I don't if think it, it doesn't, goes. you're going to go ahead and get the six out of there and 
you, you can shoot the six and stop, shoot the four and the side, and come forward for the combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all right. You know, and if he has to, he can come up for the five, five next. next. Yeah, if he's got and the natural angle. And then draw straight back to, you know, to the for six, the combination, three, seven, right. three. Uh -huh. Depending on how he got on this, he can't. If he got exactly straight in, he might have a problem, you know. Or yep. he, can't fo he can't follow and hit to the rail. Yeah, and he can't get on the five. Unless the five goes down the other. Uh, I think that's what he was doing, is getting on the other side of the five. Yeah, but he hit the, he missed that. Mm -hmm. He missed that ball a mile. These balls are sitting easy. Stuart well, the you know the nine, the easy. nine, the nine and ten need need a little attention, and not the nine, not the ten, the uh, twelve and the nine. I shoot the ten first. Then the fourteen. Well, he's got to he's got to get the eleven out of there to have a pocket for the nine. I'd go, a little I'd go right in between them balls. Maybe even nudge the 12. You're going to have these 11 balls, an insurance ball. You know what I mean? Well, if you nudge the 12, you might be blocked on the 11 by your 9 ball. you got to nudge it good. Yeah, but he, if he hit this 12 Actually hard, hard the enough to knock it over what, what Really, the best thing to do, he won't do it. This is a shot. Well, I, yeah, I see that. But you see, now he's got, if the 12 goes in the side, he's he's fortunate. If it doesn't, he's got no pocket for anything except uh, the I combination. I would try to hit it on the side. Well, sure. You know, on the, on the right side. But he's all right. I think you got to shoot the combination here. Take your time. Oh, that's a hanger. That's a hanger. I'd shoot the 12 in the corner right now because I'm straight in on it. Now? No. Shoot the 12 in the corner and stop. Shoot the 9, come two rails at the other ball. Or shoot the 12 and then the 14 and use the 9 as the key. I'm just I'm just saying the 12 is it, it's kind of tricky even though it's got all kinds of room and all kinds of pockets. Can you go two rails on the nine, hitting the short rail, then the long rail, and go toward those balls? That's what I would do. Shoot this, go two rails right toward the 12, and if he, if he gets out of line there, you can shoot the 14. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I see that. Go forward two rails, go right toward the 12. Yeah, if he gets straight in on the 12 in that corner, he can stop, then he's straight, like in, then he straight in on the 14, like stop. That. Well, now he's got to draw the cue ball into the cushion and out, and that may not be too easy. Just pinch it over the rail, right? Ah, uh, well, yeah, because he can play that last stripe and actually even come around for yeah. the eight and a side if he has to. I think he's just going to pinch it toward the rail. Uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, that's what I do, but I don't I think he's going forward. C center ball, pinch it to the rail. Just like that. You know, I'm a bar table man. You don't remember that. Well, that's true. Not bar table, excuse me. I'm a seven footer. You're a seven foot specialist? That's right. I've probably played more eight ball than everybody in here put together. I really, I've played 50 jillion games. You know, I was up in Chicago for a couple of years, and that's all they play. In Milwaukee, mm -hmm. I'm, I must have played a billion games of eight ball. Love it. Nice out. No, I, I, I've been taking care of this side and the other side. Nice out. You don't need to have anybody here, I don't think. Well. He got there. And you got
got on the hill. Yeah, he maneuver he maneuvered around them balls pretty good to he did. get he, himself he, back he, in line. He played your pattern at the end too. Well, I knew he was a pretty smart smart dude. <laughs> Just kidding. I know people gonna be saying, Ah, Robert thinks he knows everything. Uh, that, that's I just like is that, is that because he's from Arkansas? Yep. Yeah, that was un un that was pretty unlikely that um, Tyler just settled the ball. Mm -hmm. I played for so many years where everybody had loser act you know what i mean oh yeah I we well that was, you're down it, there getting ready to break yeah. your stroke and yeah. getting ready to yeah you, you know tap your tip up you clean got your, your momentum shaft going everything now I you got to rack the balls and go back and forth i well, don't I'm, think rack your own is only in the last 20 to 25 years is that all yeah <laughs> that's a long time well it may you know i i, I recall it in the in the early 90s, it might have it might have started a little bit later than Did that. Did he not make anything? Four, six, seven, three. No, nothing. Wow, nothing like look at this too, boy. But isn't it amazing whether it's a nine foot or a seven foot table when you break an eight ball? You know, if you're not Shane or one of them guys, the cue ball seems to always be down there on that rail. Mm-hmm. What would you shoot here, Ken? Well, you got no choice. With you got to shoot the twelve. You have no other shot. Fortunately, all the stripes go. All of them are hanging. And he can just go down here and hit this with enough speed. I, I'd come out there uh, for the fourteen. That's the ball near the five. I try to take care of them four in the kitchen uh, right yeah. now, Bobby. Oh yeah. oh yeah. And then come down here from the last three unless and the eight got, ball. Unless it's too thin of a cut, we can't stay down there. He, he couldn't stay down there. It was too I guess thin. he couldn't, yeah. But you know all he had to do is do that. Mm -hmm. Extreme low right. Dink. Just stops. You just kill the ball. Mm -hmm. You can kill it like right in the, you know. Yeah, you right. Know, you know the shot. Yeah, I know the shot. It's my favorite shot. Well, actually, now, this really ain't half bad either. You play this stripe and stop. You play the 10, and then you go down at the 14. Right. Clear them three, Ooh, and the good. nine's the last ball. Right. Right. That's one of the things that I love so much about eight ball because it's, you know, it's so similar to straight pool, but your patterns tend to change throughout the rack unless you get perfect on every ball. And there's always several ways to get through the rack. But when you start planning your play, you basically work backwards from the eight. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, rotation games, you play in threes. You know, an angle for an angle for an angle. Yeah. Here, you, you work backwards, and when you start to survey a rack, normally the first thing you do is see what is around the eight ball. He's shooting a nine decks. It's still, so, it's still okay. You know, I mean, but I'd rather have the nine as my key. Yeah. You know, if he could shoot the 14 and draw at the one, I might do that and then pick those last two off. I'd still shoot the nine first from here. You know, Nothing you wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. The only thing is, you know, does he have the position that he needs right now to take care of those three? If he does, why well, have to play for it twice? I mean, let's say he shoots the nine. He doesn't quite come far enough, you know, or it goes too far. And then he's got to run into the five and play a combination. I mean, there's a million things that can change depending on your shot selection. I'd still shoot the nine, get right in between, the get the right center of the table. That's what I would do. You've got a spot bigger than a basketball to get in, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but if you're confident and you make the 14, that's good. That's also a good, good way to go. But that looks pretty good. 
he's almost where he was before now. So he's faced with the same, same kind of uh, angle. I don't know if he can draw into the one, but he could sure float it forward with a little inside and come up for the 13. Yeah, I like I like that. Good now, shot. see, if he could have done that before he shot the nine, I would have done that, mm -hmm. taking those three and then nine eight. Mm -hmm. Which but was a better way. Right, but now, once again, he looks like he's in good shape. I mean, stop shot, and you've got the angle to come down for the eight ball. Just go straight up the table here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, shoot the eight in the bottom right corner. Yeah. Just like that. And this is the match-winning ball right here for Ryan Robinson. I would draw this ball. No, he's not drawing it. Well, you know what? That, that was an impressive set. I think he missed one ball. He played really nice patterns, some patterns that were a little different than we might have anticipated. He got himself back in line, though, after getting out of line a couple of times. Okay, as soon as we know what we got next, we'll uh, let you know. <laughs> 